In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create audiobooks using Clone Voice or AI. All you really need to do is go to the audiobook section. That's one of the tabs that you'll see on the top called create audiobook. And then you land on this uh, tab. It says create audiobook. And then all you have to do is give it an audiobook name. So let's say, for example, the audiobook name is about AI's, uh, and future on human productivity. Let's say that's the what you're talking about. And you're gonna do it based on chapters, by the way. So now you can go and use system voices, clone voices, design voices, you get the point. So let's say I wanna use the design voices where I want to generate something. Um, let's say like this, right? Yeah, I generate it. Or let's say I want to use clone voices or system voices. It doesn't really matter, okay? You can use one of the uh, voices as well, like friendly giant. That's it, okay? You want to use that. You get the point, right? You can use any one of those voices. And then you give it a script. So I'll paste the script here that um, uh, I got. So it's like, welcome to the world of artificial intelligence, how it's really behind in productivity. Uh, right now, we only support English for the audiobooks and uh, hope to do other languages in the future. So you do AI's future on human productivity is the name. And then you click on create audiobook. What's unique about audiobook compared to the other um, features is it comes up with up to 30,000 characters each, okay? So that's the basic uh, benefit of it. So when you're trying to create it, just generates a longer length audio effectively. And um, that's the narrative style of an audiobook anyways, right? And you can even do it based on chapters and stuff. As I mentioned, if 30,000 uh, characters is not enough, then well, name it chapter one. And let's say you create the audiobook, and later on, let's say you want to add emotions or expressions and all that, you can do it as expected, okay? Only one voice per audiobook because it makes it more natural and narrative in nature. You never see multiple voices anyway in audiobooks. So then you click on generate once you're satisfied. Now, what's unique here is that you can generate chapters as well down the line, and then um, you can merge, right? So like you can use the merge feature, and you see this merge feature here, and then you can merge this uh, audiobook with another chapter. Okay, that's the other idea. So let's say, for example, I'll, I'll show you. So I go back to the audiobooks, and then let's say I say AI's uh, future on productivity part two or chapter two, right? You can do that if you want to. So then you can go into the public library, the friendly giant one, and then you can just do that too. So it's like, uh, again, you would paste a script for the chapter two, let's say, and then you create another audio book, let's say it's doing it. So once they are completed, so it's saying processing now, once it's completed, you can then, um, merge them together. Okay. So you click on the merge button, select these two, and then, uh, are you sure you want to merge both of them? And then you confirm, and then it's going to merge them together and create a longer length clip. Okay. But it works only once the, uh, processing is completed. See how it says here, I have it completed status. That's when you can uh, do it. Now, a couple of things real quick, because of the fact that it is, um, up to 30,000 characters, the audiobook takes quite a while to generate. Okay. Keep this in mind. So let's say for example. Uh, if you're talking about 30,000 character limit right, for, uh, to be able to generate per audiobook, it's going to take, give it a half an hour or so at least, okay, to generate this type of uh, big length audio files because AI uh, takes a long time to generate these things, okay? So just be patient. Of course, you created it, it's processing, come back later, move on to other projects and stuff, all right? Uh, very important you understand that. So audiobooks by default, just because of the length of the audio and just AI algorithms requiring a lot of processing power, they take a lot longer than any other type of um, audio generation in Clone Voice AI. okay? So in other words, audiobooks, just give them up to 30 minutes uh, plus, okay, uh, to generate, okay? Just be patient and come back to it later, all right? Is that clear? So uh, like, for example, this one gets generated because it's only whatever smaller length, but a, a longer length will take up to 30 minutes or more, okay? Just be patient and move on to other products. Very important to understand, okay? So that's all it really is to use audiobooks. You can merge them using the merge feature, as I mentioned. And again, it's single speaker and uh, you can create chapters as well and merge them later if you decide to create a longer length audiobook, okay? So thanks for watching. See you in other training videos.